Chairwoman, thank you. Uh, Mr. Washington, thank you for your presence here today. Um, I represent a state in which aviation is hugely important, uh, one of the most significant uh, components of how Kansans earn a living. Uh, we are known as the air capital of the world. We manufacture general aviation, commercial uh, aircraft, defense. We have many companies that are involved in air safety and navigation aids. Uh, and uh, certainly the FAA and its administrator is among the most important uh, federal agencies and individuals that have a consequence to my constituents uh, and to the country in this case. Um, I'm often thought of as a, as, a, as a senator who worries and cares about and works on behalf of aviation because of that manufacturing base, and that's certainly a component. But I repre represent a state in which air travel, uh, Kansans who fly, and Kansans who fly from Kansas airports uh, matter greatly to me. And so I recognize the value and importance of an airport, large and small. Uh, yesterday, Kansas City celebrated the opening of mm -hmm. its new airport. We're excited about that. Uh, Wichita has a new airport, Eisenhower, but I also represent, as was indicated earlier by those who are, uh, I think it was the senator from Colorado, the importance of those small and regional airports. Essential air service, perhaps with the exception of Alaska, Kansas is the most dependent upon essential air service programs to make certain that our rural airports uh, are able to remain uh, available and open and that transportation occurs. And we forget sometimes the importance of aviation for bringing a physician or a patient to a physician, to uh, crop dusting, to uh, the way, again, we learn our, our, earn our living in Kansas in agriculture, that airplane matters greatly. So this is hugely important, and I have invited every FAA administrator since I've been in Congress to come to Kansas and spend time with me. And if you're confirmed, I will make that request. The, uh, the challenges that the FAA faces, in my view, are tremendous. And I, the, the, the leadership needs to be consistent and bold. Uh, it needs to be uh, different than it has been in the sense that we've had too many changes too many times, and we need consistency. Um, I uh, would be delighted to hear how you believe you can manage the magnitude of this job, and you've indicated that to some degree. Let me give you an example of, uh, and, and tell me how you would handle this. The aviation industry, um, in recovering from the pandemic, uh, experienced a tremendous backlog, uh, supply chain problems, uh, difficulty in getting answers from the FAA, but also getting difficulty in getting parts and materials from suppliers. Uh, throughout the pandemic, the protection of the aviation supply chain has been important to me and to Senator Cantwell uh, in legislation as evidenced by legislation called the Aviation Manufacturing Jobs Protection Program. So tell me how you would handle the magnitude of the problems that occur when there's a crisis in this country and tell me about your experience, again, that allows you to uh, lead an agency that has such um, consequences in the decisions it makes. Well, thank you for the question, uh, Senator. Um, I guess what I think about, uh, you talk about stability. Um, I think um, bringing stability to the FAA is part of addressing those issues. Uh, and so uh, what I would do is put together uh, a plan, uh, a tactical plan around uh, materials, a tactical plan around supply chain, parts, uh, and be, uh, have that as a first priority uh, for me. Um, some of the issues that we have seen around the country now uh, with material cost increases and inflation and all those things is tied into the availability of various materials. Uh, and so putting a plan together within FAA to address that is one of the first things uh, that I would do. Uh, the other thing that I think about, you mentioned um, um, uh, e, uh, the uh, subsidies, you mentioned uh, the community. E essential air service. Uh, essential air service and those sorts of things. I think we need to do better. The FAA needs to do better with those uh, subsidies uh, as well, and that would be uh, one of my uh, priorities as well. But to answer your question, putting together a solid plan to address um, rural airports, to address places like Kansas, uh, would be something that uh, would be one of my first priorities. Mr. Washington, I don't think it's through any of your 
any fault of your own, uh, I, you and I have not met until we show, shook hands a moment ago. And if you are interested, I would uh, make certain that if you invite yourself to my office to have a conversation, I would accept that invitation. Yes, sir. Thank you.